Welcome to my YouTube automotive channel. In today's video I'm sitting in a 2014 Dodge Grand Caravan and I'll be talking about P0172 and P0175 check engine code. So that means there is too much fuel, not enough air in the mixture and that triggers triggers the check engine light. Your vehicle might uh, run rough, have hard time starting and uh, things like that so it's not a fun code to d be dealing with and especially on these vehicles because there are some specific things i want to mention in this video which you have to pay attention to i will not go too deep into this vehicle but i will mention just something that happened to me i want to share this with everybody so you don't get stuck like i did now these codes are pretty much uh, fixed by replacing the map sensor if it's faulty or by if there is like a vacuum leak in the vacuum lines or uh, one of the hoses or stuff like that or the fuel can be contaminated causing this kind of a cold or you might have a faulty auto sensor or um, you might have a faulty fuel injector right and then the fix for that is to either clean or replace the injectors, but people usually replace them. And uh, what happens, usually nobody wants to pay expensive OEM Mopar parts, which are like $150, $60 each sensor, but you go with the aftermarket cheaper ones. And that's, that's what I did on this vehicle. And that resulted in me spending over $3,000 trying to diagnose what was wrong with this vehicle. Um, the point, the point of this video is to let you know that you have to replace the fuel injectors with the OEM Mopar expensive ones. If you replace them with uh, aftermarket fuel injectors, there is something different. I don't know what, but these codes P0172 and P0175 will be triggered because those aftermarket uh, fuel injectors just insert too much fuel into the engine and causing the coats um, on this specific vehicle i actually replaced the fuel injectors no actually i have to tell you the whole story i bought it on the auction and blah 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 this and that and the story was nobody can figure out why the check engine light is on and one why the vehicle is running rough and why it's uh, starting hard and i checked the history and the fuel injectors were replaced like six months before i bought this vehicle so we pretty much checked everything replaced the uh, map sensor checked for vacuum leaks replaced the auto sensors checked the fuel uh, even cleaned the fuel tank we, we even replaced the pcm on it so a bunch of stuff was done to this vehicle and then we decided to replace those fuel injectors again because we were lost right and we replaced them with the aftermarket napa ones it says OEM refurbished fuel injectors. So that's what we installed in this vehicle and the codes were still here and I had no idea what to do. And then I started researching even more. I, I found some specific car technician forum and one guy said you have to replace them with the OEM Mopar ones because the aftermarket ones or refurbished ones will cause, will give too much fuel to the mixture right so i was like okay let's try that this is the last shot or i'm just selling it back to back to the auction and taking a loss on the vehicle luckily i had one more of these vehicles and i swapped the injectors from one to the other and guess what happened this one was running perfect and the other one had the same codes so my new refurbished uh fuel injectors were no good and this is the point of this video if you have to replace the fuel injectors, you have to replace them with the Mopar ones, the expensive ones. If you don't want to spend that much money on fuel injectors, then just go to the, go to the car salvage. There's a bunch of these vehicles there and just pop out a couple of fuel injectors. Uh, that's what I did actually in my case. I paid like 10 bucks each and for 60 bucks I had six good fuel injectors i installed them in the other van and both vans are running good and i learned this lesson the hard way but these vehicles like i said dodge is popular for for this 
OEM parts necessity. Same thing goes with, with like the blend door actuators, right? If you install aftermarket ones, um, you won't be able to, to synchronize it. And then you will have this rear button blinking and you won't have the AC controls for the first 20 seconds when you start the vehicle. So yeah, OEM parts people, OEM parts. That's what I have to say. I hope this video will actually help somebody and you won't get stuck like I did and you won't have to spend a bunch of money uh, on, on nothing. Yeah. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and educational. If it was, please like it and consider subscribing to my YouTube automotive channel. On my channel, there is lots of how-to videos, do-it-yourself videos, car reviews, product reviews, and other similar automotive topics.